Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you're coming in from. And this Capri cares, know that I care and care that I know. And I had to get her while I had her. So when you have her, and this is in the professional sense, make sure you get all the blood out of a turnip. That's the best way I could put it. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, good Lady Stacy. Good morning, Stacey. good afternoon, and good evening, wherever you are. Yes, yes. And they are in many places. And, uh, had a great, you're going to have a great day. It's going to be prosperous. You're going to be in yes. good health. What's your declaration to yourself in the morning? Mm, I am, after I say my prayers, okay, my so affirmation. You, and all what is your affirmation? Mm, I am loved. Okay. I'm healthy. Okay. I am whole. Okay. I am enough. Okay. And kick today's butt. And kick today's <laughs> butt. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to do all of that. <laughs> we're going to do all of that. Well, look, folks, we will be right back. We're about to play our introduction. It's Capri Cares. Know that I care. And guess what care that I know? I like saying that. And I've said it probably 15,000 times. Just practice and warming up. So yeah. it is what. Good morning. It's Capri Cares. Know that I care, care that I know. This is our daily motivation and inspiration for our mental health ministry here in the Ephesian Primitive Baptist Church. It's Capri Cares. Well, folks, we were talking on Tuesday. I had you on the worry, did our activities with worry, but because I had Stacy and we had that moment on Tuesday, I said, this Wednesday, I want her to unpack something. So all eyes on you, in the words of one of our favorite lyricists. <laughs> okay. Okay. You have moments in your life where, you know, God is doing the unspeakable and the unthinkable. How do you manage that? Uh, <laughs> Why are you smiling like that? What's all that about? Man. Man, what? That's what such is a good, it? That's a great question. What's a great, what, what makes it a great question? It's a great question because we've spoken about, at one point about being in the pause. Mm -hmm. And for me, that's what a download from God looks like. Slow down. Hey, download from God. Let me write that down. Okay. She always dropping these nuggets. <laughs> Keep talking. Okay. Now. A download from God. A Looks download like a for God. From God. A pause is a download. No, in the pause, you mm -hmm. can receive download from God. Download from spirit. That speaks to your soul. Mm -hmm. and Which looks like you've prayed for an answer. Mm-hmm. You surrendered mm -hmm. and allowed mm -hmm. God to work. And in that, you could be caught up in stuff. Or as you can say, as you have been talking about, worry. Mm -hmm. But if you don't worry, if you worry, you won't hear the download. You won't hear it. But if you are quiet and in your own pause mm -hmm. and just moving throughout, navigating your space and doing being in the space of surrender, mm -hmm. you'll receive the messages. Receiving the download in the pause. Yes. So a simpler, more practical example is sometimes we pray, God, give me an, I want to pray for patience. Okay, let's use that for example. The wrong thing to pray for. Let me just <laughs> say that. Good, <laughs> lovely people. Because... That's coming with a trial. <laughs> it is coming with a trial. That's coming with a trial and a tribulation. So, yes, yeah. I, whew, that's all I'm going to say. Okay. But so the download. It's Hearing a download. God in the pause. The download. Okay. okay. So, so let's say, for example, you, you've said that prayer, you know, God, I'm praying for patience. And so in the micro moments, God sends you tiny tests along the way. Tiny tests. Tiny test. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that tiny test could be you're rushing to work in the morning time and the light changes. Mm -hmm. Tiny test. A tiny test. So what do you do in that moment? 
are you scream? Yeah. Are you screaming and yes. yelling? yelling? Are you yelling at the person that made the light? Are you mm-hmm. yelling at your clock? I don't <laughs> believe this and all this. You know, your hands are flailing because you made the light. Okay, right. you didn't make the light. Mm-hmm. And I want you to stop right there in that moment because mm-hmm. you just prayed for patience. Okay. And now you have to be patient there at that light. And you did not revel in that pause, that download that was just given to you. That was such a tiny micro test saying that, Pastor Hill, I want you to sit and enjoy this moment at this light. Yes, son, I paused you here. But I protected you from that accident that was up there. Or protected you from the anxiety of not even getting there, even when you were still late. Yeah, and that's okay. So I, so can we say he protects us in the pause from the anxiety of just still rushing? Mm-hmm. And you ask for patience. So right. be patient so and sit in that light. The anxiety of the rush. Yeah. I got protected from that in the pause. Even if I would have arrived still late with that example, it the anxiety would have been building and festered because of the process. Yes. And here it is. God what I'm trying to do is deliver you from your own anxiety. Mm-hmm. And you need to understand that this pause is deliverance. Yes. And development. And development. And I that's the simplest thing. But when I when I get and I started doing this many, many years ago, because I'm like, oh, praying for patience. I'm a single mom. I'm getting my daughter up. She's taking her a long time because she don't like mornings. And I'm rushing and we're getting to the light. And I said, well, I just prayed for patience. And now I'm sitting at the light. And I'm filled with all of this anxiousness, trying to get her to school on time trying to get to work on time because my boss is going to yell at me. But then something downloaded and said, well, girl, what if he's protecting you? What if something up ahead is going to cause you not to even have anxiety, Mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Not anxiety. And you end up being in whatever was going on up there. He could have saved your life right here. And because I relish in that, I say, okay, Maybe this pause, maybe this moment here is for me to sit in this space and be still. Mm. Be still and know that I am God. So I'm learning the stillness of the pause, the pause, the the purpose of the pause. Purpose of the pause. The purpose of the pause. So now you you having these, I'm going to say a trilogy of events, Mm -hmm. three things, like Star Wars had a trilogy. Yeah. I said something, somebody, what I said happened twice. Confirmation. To me, that's confirmation. Mm-hmm. So you heard the voice of God in a pause through me, through those other individuals about Stacy providing healing and comfort. <laughs> is that the, I don't, I don't, is that, I'm saying it right, correct? <laughs> okay, yes. Keep going. Keep going. What does that mean? <laughs> Keep going. I'm just, I'm at, I'm asking. You had to pause. When I said it, did you pause when I said what I said? Concerning the context. We don't got to put no more context around it. This is you and I talking. Did you pause? I did pause. Okay. And then the, that other conversation happened. That was a pause. Absolutely. And then that other conversation happened. Yes. Which was totally abnormal. Yes. So you have three pauses. I've three. I've had three downloads. Okay. And that have caused me to pause. Okay, three downloads that has caused okay. you to pause. All right. <laughs> you have to put context to it. No, I'm not. I'm you not. Know. That's your show. Because if they want to hear that story, they need to go bring you. I mean, they need to come to the bounce back. Mm-hmm. You know, and get on the show and. You know, you get give those uh, provide those other services so they can hear that story. Yeah. But that 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 I said something. It wasn't weeks later when that next thing. Yeah, happened. there have been a series of uh, 
synchron almost synchronized events. Okay, that's good. We we'll call them synchronized. Yeah, events. that have. I won't say because not everything happens for a reason. There are no accidents. It's prov providential. Yes. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned. I mentioned something to me. Uh huh. Which then was preceded by two, three actually oh, encounters. Three. Yeah, three oh. encounters okay. subsequently after our conversation. Yeah. Okay. So that, you you know. I only know about two. So now you hold now? No. <laughs> you hold now. Okay. I, I'm not. I, I'm not. Remember the ballroom dance? That okay. was the that was the first. No, that was that the first. No, that, that was, was the third. second. That was the second. Okay, that was the second. That was the second. So this is part of the book. So now we have family, friend, and now <laughs> footloose and fancy free ballroom dance. Ballroom dancing. Right. Yeah. Something happened there. Yes. That was connected to the conversation that you and I had. That is correct. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. I'm just trying to figure it out like this this when God is speaking and God has God is very God has a multiplicity of ways of being humorous and comical, yeah. facetious, farcical, sardonic. I use it like mm -hmm. to use those words. Mm -hmm. uh, now that you have these downloads, now that you have these different pauses, I guess when you and I talk about it later, have conversation about it. You reflect different. I reflect different. Mm -hmm. Because now, here's the pause for me. <clears throat> when that happens or when those transactions take place, I start seeing a pattern. Yeah. Okay. And now I pay, a, let me say, I pay attention to the pattern now. I'm more aware of the pattern, how God is shifting me in that space, in that place, so that I can understand his ways just a little bit better than I did on yesterday. Yeah. So that's where I am with that. That's mm -hmm. why I ask. That's why we're having this conversation. I mean, you know, <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, I'm grateful to this conversation. Are you sir. grateful? Are you yeah. sure about that? I, I'm I'm sure. <laughs> you sure? Let me make a full screen. You sure? I, I'm sure. I'm All sure. right. You're sure. Yeah. You're grateful because, are you grateful due to the fact that you, you see the pattern as well? I do. Mm -hmm. I do. It's in, it, it's consequently. What's, yeah. what's up with the smile? That You were saying, you didn't say anything verbally, mm -hmm. but you communicated a whole lot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I don't, you know, it's a, God tells you to do something, you're just supposed to do it. But are you serious? I mean, yes, yes, yes. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is definitely weak. Yes. So okay, I can be but a little hard headed. All of us can. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're not the yeah, only one. Yeah. What biblical character other than Jesus didn't try to veer off? And Jesus even said, let this cup pass. So when we're talking about this blatant obedience, mm -hmm. it resonates well. Verbally, yeah, it read. Oh my god, that just sounds so wonderful! Yes, and I'm all about it, but there's a process to get us to that ender, right? And he <laughs> taps you again, he <laughs> taps you through. <laughs> See, I wasn't even thinking about the third time, the third time just actually happened. The third Think time just actually happened, yeah, so yeah. you know, family, friend, and footloose that's what I just keep the alliteration so I can remember those three occurrences, yeah. So now when we're talking about bouncing back and resilience, uh, we're grateful that God can put us in a situation providentially mm -hmm. where we know that the assignment that he has for us is just as real and relevant now in those moments as it was when we pro possibly heard it 20, 30 years ago. Yeah. Yeah. And you're still hearing his voice. That's the thing. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about it. Like, I'm still hearing his voice in that moment. Yeah. I'm still hearing his voice. I get to hear the voice of God. Wow. I get to hear, I get to see that manifestation. His presence is in this moment. Mm -hmm. Like, this is like phenomenal. It's good. I mean, even 
as those moments that you mentioned occurred, I always say, Daddy, what? It, really? Mm -hmm. Did you have to tell me like that? Did you have to punch me in the face with it? <laughs> Did you have to get so aggressive with telling me this is what you want me to do right now. Um, yes. Yes. God can be up front and personal. Yeah. Yeah. And why, we want him to be that. Yes. We, listen, we ask for it, but then when he gets this plane, mm -hmm. then we ask for still another sign. <laughs> like it why can't, do we do that? Because that's what we're humans, yeah, and we, we we're that. fickle, we're frail, we're frustrated, <laughs> we're fallen, we are estranged. Mm -hmm. We always, all of that is a, it's a bad combination. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a bad combination. I mean, it's a bad combination. So, you know, I'm just excited about what happened in your life. Yeah, and to see what I, what he shared with me. And that even in that moment, because it's not like I walk around, let me get, give me a word, God, give me a word. No, mm -hmm. he gave me that word in that moment. I said, God, that, that was you. Like, that was you. I think you heard it. Then boom, boom, like back to back to back. Yes. He says, okay, he confirms it. Yes. Okay. So looks like somebody's going to have to do <laughs> <laughs> Something. What, what, what say ye? Yeah. Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Twitch, Instagram. What say ye? Literally, what say ye? Honestly, what say ye? Mm. What say ye? I mean, you don't have to think about it now. Give me a give us an answer because you don't have to answer to us. This is correct. I'm you, curious as if you know that your our listening audience has had any experience of course where you know God has downloaded and said hey you're supposed to be doing this and how they took on their next step mm -hmm. in getting directions because you prayed for it and now you got the answer what are you going to do with it I'm going to take the next logical step by faith yeah red zeros let me just be funny and facetious I think it's rule number six get this book <laughs> that's why you have to take the next logical step by faith that's why you need this book because it just helps give you a handle mm -hmm. on as we say from the country you got a wheelbarrow but you need some handle son and in order to navigate that space you have to get a handle on it and I'm grateful that and this is the, the only way I can say it. I'm grateful that sometimes we think that we could sometimes be out of sync, just, just out of sync, church, just out of sync with community, with that fellowship. But even in moments where we think we're out of sync, we're so in line. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Going to say what's your, your favorite word? That was what? I'm not saying that. This is not applicable. <laughs> got you, got you, got you, got you. But it, yeah, you know, you have this narrative. You tell me all the time, I'm not, I'm not this, I'm not that, I'm not this. But then God has a way of really you back in and putting you back in community <laughs> and doing business, <laughs> like to make you eat your own words. Funny, <laughs> funny God, funny. Yeah! Funny God, funny. I'm serious. Funny, right? Is that not funny? It, it is very funny. You know, grandma has to do with a lot of the prayers of grandmother. The, the prayers, prayers of the righteous of grandma. Yes, it's grandma. It's moving. Still working, huh? She is still working. I'm yeah. so happy for her. She up there. Still working. Working. Tell her to hush. A great hush. Leave Jesus alone. <laughs> no, she is putting in some work right now. <laughs> Stacy there. Stacy there. <laughs> Stacy right. there. And I'm okay. Yeah. I'm I, I, I'm learning to be obedient. Mm. Yeah. And it's better than sacrifice. The obedience is. <laughs> yeah. It is. Yeah. But it's a it's it comes with the those taps. Yeah. It's like, okay, God. Like hearing that from me was like, okay, I'll consider. Then somebody calls. It's like, hold up. <laughs> I'm not going to me. <laughs> then somebody else through, you know, social media, mm -hmm. like, wait a minute, this is two in a row, God. Mm -hmm. Okay, God, go for, 
God, if it's you, give me another one. Voila. <laughs> and it's that clear. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. that literally that clear. Yeah. And there are times when we're trying to become more obedient and aware, we pray for the clarity. Yes. Now you really don't have to pray for the clarity. No. That's nothing you have to pray for right now. No. And I think, though, it, it's been a preparation of. So had I been still filled with all the noise, Ooh, don't don't you really gonna go there? Cause I was trying to land the plane. Well, <laughs> but you go ahead. I give you three minutes. Well, three minutes. You can't hear God clearly if there's noise. If you are not sitting still and being in your pause and being okay and prepared. So in those micro moments, even sitting at the light, God was preparing me to be able to be aware of the tap on the shoulder, to where I'm not saying I'm not running away from a message that comes from you and then the subsequent messages that came then thereafter. I'm okay. I'm not thinking that these are random incidences because nothing is random. Someone said something to me, maybe you should. And then God said, hey, here are all the, this is the evidence as to why you should be. Because I am aware and cognizant of the possibilities and the knowingness that I can get a download from God at any time. And it can come through going to a ballroom dance class. It can go come through social media. Social media. It can come through phone call from a family. phone call from family. It can come from those varying different points. It doesn't have to look like what I think it's going to look like. There it is. It didn't have to look like no. what I think it's going to look like. Yeah, and God has been doing that a lot this year. Yeah, you was like, <laughs> God, I just, you know, <laughs> pastor, pray for me. Da, 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 da. And God said, <clears throat> Him. Right. You asked for something, and now I gave you the answer, and now you're going to question it. <sighs> the flesh is weak. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a good book because the first, uh, let's say, uh, like an example of one of my questions was, you know, everybody, it should at this point have probably heard I'm from Chicago, let's say. Oh, let's she's say. from Chicago. She's from South Chicago. Uh, and so. 69th to 75th. <laughs> yeah, that area. Stony. Stony Island, you remembered. I, mean, I can I forget. I, I'm it, telling it you. It was drilled. And I've been indoctrinated. Yeah. I meet people from Chicago and I'd be like, you know, I'm from Chicago too. Like, where I'm like from 65th, 75th, 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 <laughs> Stony Island. Jones. Jo Jones High School. What you mean? It's Jones, Jones commercial. Like, you went to Jones? What? what get <laughs> I went to Jones. <laughs> get out of here. I'm <laughs> Yeah. I was at Jones. <laughs> you were not. Get out of here. Uh, and then I realized I wasn't at Jones. You wasn't. But I tell the story. <laughs> I had to catch the bus with the with the, next with the token. With the token. <laughs> but I'll tell your story. And I, you I, 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 own story. Your, I own your story one day to somebody. They thought I was really from the shy. <laughs> I you was vivid. Yes. I was directional. Yeah. So, you know, just da 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 da. And I was just in front of the conversation. What? <laughs> You're from Chicago for real? Yeah. And I was like, no, I'm not. I am not. I didn't lift somebody's story. What? <laughs> but anyway, what's your question? What's this your is question? actually not a question. What is it? What is it? I, I just wanted to read this. Oh, I thought you said you had a question. No, I don't have a question. What? I read. This is a question. This is the statement. Oh, this is the statement. This is the statement. This book. Red Sea Rules. Red Sea mm -hmm. Rules. Mm -hmm. Number one. Number one. Realize God that God. Wants you to be. <laughs> means for you to be. Where you are. Where you are. That's kind <laughs> Thank you for tuning in to Capri K or something. That's it? That's it. Plane landed. The plane can land. So, I bug you all the time about. The bounce back. And you do a lot already. Uh, where can they find you on social media? Oh my goodness. Look at the camera. Tell oh me. my goodness. Okay, so you can the find me. There. Oh, you can find me. There you go. On YouTube uh -huh. at the bounce back. Okay. On this is different. 
on Instagram at the Operations Architect. What you gonna make a whole new Instagram page? Probably because everything needs to be one page. Yeah, yeah. For well, branding we'll, we'll work on that for branding sake. But you can look just look up Stacy Cole <laughs> and you'll find me. Six one five eight zero nine. Or you can. What is the number? Six one five. 809-1615. Say it one more time. 615-809-1615. Call me. How do I know that? Because she says it every week on the radio <laughs> show. I was like, how am I going to ever remember that? And then she says, I said, it's repetitive. It's a 615, then it's an 809, then it's another 615. Yeah. Just put a one in front of it. Okay. Plane landing. Okay. Plane landing. Yeah. God has a multiplicity of ways of speaking to us and getting us to that place where he, sh and here's the thing in this example that you provided both of us, it shifts my worry to worship. Mm, yeah. I don't know about y'all, you, y'all, that's a Southern term. You, you, Is it Y-O-W-S-E? I don't know. <laughs> Is it Y apostrophe A L L? What is it? Why that was a different word. Y'all's. I've never. Y'all. I've never heard of y'all's before. Y apostrophe. Oh. I thought it was y'all. Y'all's. Y'all. Oh, it's a y'all's. It's y'all's now. It's an S. That sounds like a Y apostrophe. Oh. Oh. Apostrophe S. W S. It doesn't matter. Okay, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever. But no, no. it shifts my worry now. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, you know, we had another conversation, but we'll talk about that on another show, on your show, uh, about some of the decisions you, you're, you're not worried about, but hey, some decisions you have to make. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's like, okay, God, I'm hearing you about one thing. I really need to hear you about this other thing. Yeah. And at least I'm hearing you though. Yes. So that and that cycle, getting in that mode of hearing you repetitively brings me to a greater awareness. Absolutely. And I I know what my heart says, but I also know what my head says. Yeah. And sometimes I need my heart to hear my head. And there are times I need my head to hear my heart. Mm -hmm. And they have to be in sync, as you say, synchronization, your favorite term. Yeah, one of them. One of them. Yeah. So any any last say before we get <clears throat> off here? I didn't mean to keep you on this long, but, no. you know, what anything you would like to share with it? Just spend time in your pause. Spend time in your pause. Yeah. Because if you spend time in your pause, it shifts your worry to worship. Yes. Mm. Yeah. That's good. Well, y'all, my time is up. <laughs> And I will see y'all at 12 noon today. No, I will upload it. It won't be live. And I will see y'all back at 6 o'clock for the Red Sea Rules. Now, on, at 12 noon, we're in Chapter 10. At 6 o'clock, we're at Chapter 8. So the 6 o'clock crew is a little behind the 12 o'clock crew. Stacy, what crew are you in? It's 12 noon crew. <laughs> we, we, I have not been indoctrinated we, into a crew yet. Okay. <laughs> not yet not yet no. not yet no and that's what we're gonna have to work on we're gonna have to baptize her into southern <laughs> she, she's midwestern and east coasterner i am and that is uh don't blasphemous blasphemous <laughs> in the south don't judge me i feel judged no nah, we don't want to this is a no judgment zone no there's no judgment no, okay not, no, not judgment. so what is this indoctrination until the South looks like? What do I need to start doing? It's next next podcast. Ne I can't okay. Tell them. Okay. Can't tell them okay. That. Once again, these are some of the things on the bounce back that these are some of your services when you come do your motivational speeches and stuff and all of those inspirational addresses. It's part of that. I understand. Because in Rome, you do as the Romans. Okay. And I've heard that before. Now you're in the South. Okay. And uh, you understanding like, oh, wow. This isn't. Where I previously resided, I could pull the gun and shoot. Mm -hmm. um, I shouldn't have used that. Yeah, oh, yeah that's sorry. a different example. Yeah, my bad. My bad. <laughs> uh, you know, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, but you know, I mean, yeah. we're in the South. I mean, and you got as long as you have a have a wasn't it a carry card or something? Yeah. Okay. But I'm just saying, now in the <clears throat> South, it's about. It's more not so much about your skill. It's mm -hmm. about your relationship mm -hmm. and who you know. 
Okay. And who do like, who you don't like, who you don't want to like, and who you need to like, or who you need to just rub elbows with. It's so, I, this term is not, it's clannish. Oh. Clickish? Clickish. 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 I didn't participate in clicks. I've been an individual but mostly. But you're in the South. Bring it in. Oh. Bring it in. 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 Let's, yeah, we got to get off here, y'all, because this is a conversation about to go left. She just didn't hit my button. <laughs> <laughs> just hit my button. Oh, well. But it is what it is. I mean, just for yeah. sure. I mean, you know, getting acclimated to a different environment. I am from the Midwest. She says it's so proud. E- e- East Coast. Jones commercial. Let's yeah. not forget. The class of. I'm not telling. I'm not telling either. <laughs> I'm not telling. That's all good. All right. Thank y'all for tuning in to Capri Care. See y'all again later on today, 12 noon, 6 o'clock. See y'all Thursday morning. Depending on how I feel, if I'm going to do Capri Cares or not, if Stacy wants to do something, we can. If Stacy wants to bring on some guests, she can. And we can have a lot of fun. Anybody wants to be on the show, you're more than welcome to. All right, y'all. I'm signing off. Peace and blessings.